So let's solve a problem which appeared in JME in 2025. In this question, we have been given alpha and beta real numbers such that sec square tan inverse alpha plus cosec square cot inverse beta is 36 and alpha plus beta is 8. Then alpha square plus beta is what? So we actually we have to find out alpha and beta, right? So this is in terms of sec square. Somehow if I can convert it into tan, then this thing would actually we could solve it and similarly if this is cosec square if we convert it into cot then we could solve this as well right so that is what we will do to find out alpha alpha and beta whatever is there right so sec square this is given as sec square tan inverse alpha and uh, then we have got cosec square cosec square cot inverse beta equals to 36 now if you see sec square tan inverse alpha this is nothing but I can say that this is 1 plus tan square, 1 plus tan square tan inverse alpha, right? And similarly, I can say that this is cosec square cot inverse beta. This is nothing but 1 plus cot square cot inverse beta. And that is actually equal to 36. So now tan inverse tan alpha, I can write it as alpha square. And then this has beta square. And then this is one plus one, which is two. And then this will become 34. So alpha square plus beta square will become 34. What is given to us is alpha plus beta is eight, right? Now from here, if I just square it, what do I get? Alpha square plus beta square plus two alpha beta equals to eight square, which is 64. So we substitute this value of alpha square plus beta square, so 2 alpha beta would be actually equal to 30. So alpha beta is actually equal to 15 as well. But what do we want to do with this 2 alpha beta is that we can also write it as um, alpha minus beta whole squared. And then we can evaluate alpha minus beta whole squared, which will be alpha plus beta whole squared minus 4 alpha beta. So this is an identity I can use. A minus B whole square is A plus B whole square minus 4AB. Now, what is A plus B whole square, which is, right, 64. And then 2 alpha beta, 4 times this will be 60. So, uh, then what we get is alpha minus beta whole square as square root of 4, which is plus minus 2. So, alpha minus beta is actually equal to either plus or minus 2, right? But you can see that as alpha is less than beta is what is given to us right so then beta has to be greater than alpha meaning that alpha minus beta has to be minus 2 right so alpha minus beta has to be minus 2 because plus 2 would be rejected right then if plus 2 if i take then alpha would be greater than beta right so that that is why we have just taken this now alpha plus beta is going to be equal to 8 so then you just sum up and then you get 2 alpha equals to 6 then from here we get alpha equals to 3 when we get alpha equals to 3 then we put here then we get beta equals to 5 so now as you can see beta is greater than alpha now what we have to find out is alpha square plus beta so alpha square plus beta so alpha square is gonna be 3 3 is a 9 and plus 5 so 9 plus 5 which is gonna be equal to 14 right so 14 will be my answer right so that is all for this question actually we had to make use of the property of this tan of tan inverse alpha is going to be equal to tan alpha itself though they have not given us all this thing but like what we eventually figured out is this alpha this we can make use of this if uh, it is within the permissible range right and similarly cot of cot inverse beta as well i could write it as uh beta itself right so this is all if we can make use of in this particular question then we could solve it and of course, some small identities like alpha minus beta whole square is alpha plus beta whole square and so on and so forth. If you can make use of that, then you could solve this question easily. All right. So this is all for this question. If you have got any questions, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.